Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I just want to say thanks to everybody that's been tuning in and liking and sharing my videos. It's really helpful and I'm very glad that you tune in and help me out here. Anyway, today on the channel we're looking at the medium. Now, the medium was an Xbox Series X launch title and it was obviously on the Series S as well. Um, now, I went into the game with pretty much open eyes, kind of thinking it was going to be a new retro survival horror game like the original Resident Evil games. Now, certain fans out on the internet hyped this game up to the nines like it was, you know, 100%, 10 out of 10, classic survival horror banger. Now... I kind of started the game and wanted to play without that thought in mind. Because if you try, automatically try and compare this game to like the remakes of Resident Evil 2 or 3 or even 0 and 1 HD remakes that were on the GameCube and then ported over. Like the problem is, is and we'll get some of the problems out of the way to begin with, with the game. I'll talk about them through the video but it's it's really disappointing to try and compare this to those original Resident Evil games because the one thing this game isn't is a classic survival horror game it's not there's some classic survival elements in the game some of the combat style is very some of the gameplay style and combat style is very much like old Resident Evil games, there is some parts in there where you think, well, this is just like in a Resident Evil game, you know, you gotta get your, you gotta do old school photo creation where you have to put it in your different uh, liquids like your fixer and this, that, the other to make a photo and you have to time it right and it's very much like you would do in an old Resident Evil game. However, the biggest thing that's missing for this to be called a survival horror game is the horror side of things. Now, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, because you should play it. The game I actually feel is very good. I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, there's some parts which are very annoying. It's got some serious flaws in itself in general. I will cover them on the video. Um, but overall, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It is easily like a seven or eight out of ten without even trying and like like i said if you start trying to compare it to like resident evil zero or one you're automatically going to not enjoy it because there's the biggest problem is is there's no zombies there's basically one enemy in the whole entire game it's more survival than horror it's survival game it's classic survival game, no horror involved. Now, and this is what I mean, there's one bit where you, like this, you feel like you're just playing Crash Bandicoot because you're running away from the screen and then forward into the screen and it's just like, you might as well have a boulder there because that's all it is, it's bloody cl classic Crash Bandicoot if you ask me. Not classic survival horror. Like, the story is really good the story helps bring your game out really well the gameplay is actually very good when you're jumping between the worlds and trying to figure out puzzles and such it's really well done the biggest problem with that is it's it's almost like you're trying to focus on two things at the same time which is near darn impossible it's like when you're, you know when you're playing a two-player racing game and you're looking at your, uh, your your player one and you're looking at what player two is doing you're like well where are they on the track where are they on the track that's what this feels like you've got two split screens of the of the different worlds but you can only focus on one at once really and that's what makes it very much that's really jarring in the immersion of the gameplay it almost makes it less immersive by trying to create dual immersion in two different worlds. Like you can see here, you, it, it's, it's very strange. And it's 
it makes makes it annoying to play those parts in the game where it splits between the two worlds. When you go from one world to the other and you're just playing the person in the spiritual world, or whatever you want to call it, it's fine. When you're in the real world, it's fine. But when you split it apart and you have the two different worlds together, it's very annoying. Very annoying. It's not many times that it actually does it in the game. You probably do it five or six times before the end. The game can be completed probably in a short period of time. I died probably five or six times and that's it. If that, I could probably complete it without dying, to be fair. Because there's next to no places where you can die. There's a couple of bits like the Crush Bandicoot older rolling bit and a couple of other bits where you can get trapped and like die and get you. But apart from that, there's not many places you can physically fail, right? And like I said, the story really grasps you. It's really well done. And the split world type of mechanic is good. It just when it is split like this together between the two, you can't focus on both. It really disjoints the the way in which you concentrate on the game. You, it's almost like you can't, right? Because it's like, well, should I be looking at that side or should I be looking at the other? Because, and yeah, you can, might, might think, oh, well, that's part of the puzzle side. And in some places they do try to do that, but it didn't really work. It's like, well, I know I need to be on the other side, and you just do this, and off you go. Like, so the biggest letdowns for myself are the lack of horror. Split world dual screen stuff is just annoying. Um, it's got the classic rest of evil. I ran around a corner, and my direction pad has shifted because the camera angle shifted. And now I ran back into the wrong corner of the because it's a fixed camera, right? So it jumps from one to the other and you just spin around again and you go back into yourself. That's annoying because it's some, a bug or technically a gameplay issue that's been around decades with fixed camera game. Um, and it's apparent here, but you know, it's livable. I wouldn't worry about it. It's a quality of life annoyance that you've got with a a, a, an older type of inspired game, maybe. Um, but the top and bottom of it is, is I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. The game is really well done. The story is great. It's... The, my biggest issue is the amount of people that said, oh, this is like the best classic survival game ever made. And, you know, it puts Resident Evil down and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no... Not a cat in hell's chance this is better than something like Resident Evil Village. You've got to go and, like, you've got to be on some sort of spaced out crazy planet to think this is better than Resident Evil 8 because it's just not. And, like I say, it's worth the game, it's worth the play, it's worth the money, it's worth playing. Is it a console seller? Hell no. Is it the best game on Xbox ever made? Hell no. Like, is it worth buying and playing? 100% yes. Is it enjoyable? Yeah. I give it an easy 7, 8 out of 10. And you should not turn it away. And now that it's on the PlayStation 5 as well as the Xbox, you definitely should be picking it up. But try and ignore some of these, you know, the games, a Resident Evil clone, or it's a classic survival horror clone, because it's not. It's a survival game with slight... Classic horror elements. There's no zombies, no nothing like that going on, and there's a lot to be annoyed about at times. But the story really carries it, and the gameplay is very good. And as I said, the story is what really grabs you and really brings you into wanting to play the game more. And I personally would say this is a very good game, it's top quality, and there's no way you should be turning it away. Um, but yeah, definitely buy it.
And I, as I say, about a seven or eight out of ten easily. Anyway, if you want to know more, just drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and drop me a like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much and goodbye. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. <laughs>